hearing from the, one of the co-founders of Ben & Jerry's, Jerry Greenfield. Hello, nice to see everybody. Jerry Greenfield, co-founder of Ben & Jerry's. You know, we were originally uh, scheduled to meet outside today. Uh, <laughs> had we done that, we all would have gotten free hot chocolate. So, uh, <laughs> we're missing out on that. Uh, uh, you know, uh, Ben is not here today, but if you will indulge me, I'm going to introduce ourselves the way we now introduce ourselves at all events we go to. Ben over here. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ben. I'm first. I'm Jerry. I'm a person. Ben and Jerry's homemade ice cream, not a person. <laughs> I, I think people are going to get pretty tired of hearing that from us. <laughs> no, no. Keep it up. Keep it up. You need a new flavor. <laughs> so, uh, I was involved in uh, starting a corporation uh, 30 some odd years ago. I work for a corporation. I currently work for a corporation. I know what corporations are, and corporations are not people. Uh, this is sort of a, an easy thing to grasp onto in some ways. It's just lunacy to try to make the argument that corporations are people. We have a great start here in Vermont. Uh, there's incredible grassroots enthusiasm uh, that is continuing to build. Uh, Ginny and I were at a, uh, a forum in Montpelier uh, at the end of last November. Uh, as Gabby mentioned, there's a forum tomorrow at uh, Comptor's Auditorium. Uh, Ginny will be there, and Akene from Public Citizen will be there. There's another forum scheduled on February 27th at St. Mike's, where Ginny and I will be there, along with John Bonifaz from uh, uh, Free Speech for People, another national organization. Uh, there's another forum scheduled for Waitsfield in the middle of March. David Cobb from Move to Amend will be there. And what's interesting about all these forums is that not only are there local people involved in speaking, but there are people from national advocacy organizations that are taking the lead on this issue. And they recognize that here in Vermont, this is where the fight starts. This is where it has to happen. So we have people from Washington, D.C. descending upon Vermont to let us know how important this is. Uh, and it's not only these advocacy organizations. I get to sort of travel around different circles sometimes, and there are people as diverse as uh, Dylan Radigan on MSNBC, who's totally into the issue. There is Russell Simmons, the hip hop uh, person. There is Deepak Chopra. I mean, this is such a wide and deep issue because people recognize how critically important it is. Uh, thank you so much for coming out. Sorry about the <coughs> hot chocolate. And, uh, <laughs> and great to see you all. Great to see yes. As I, now it's my turn. Yes, okay. <laughs> oh, wait, you're, you, you I skipped before. You didn't say you were, you were deferring. You said you took a pass. Okay. Uh, hi, I'm um, Jerry Greenfield, the co-founder co -founder of Ben and & Jerry's. Uh, and uh, it's, it's nice to have a skunk at the garden party. It's nice of you to fulfill that role, Ben. That's really good. Uh, you know, my, my starting point on this, <clears throat> excuse me, is as a business person, a person who helped start a corporation over 30 years ago, who currently works for a corporation and works in the corporate world. And the situation we currently have in our country uh, with elections and the way elections are paid for is broken. Uh, we can talk about <laughs> all the nice little remedies and little steps we can take here and here there, but the simple fact of the matter is, is that our elections are bought and sold, and our 
government in Washington does not represent the interests of citizens. We do not have a government of the people, by the people, and for the people. We have a government of, by, and for wealthy interests and corporations. Uh, we live in a society where corporations are the most powerful force. Uh, and it's actually a relatively new phenomenon. Uh, if you look back historically, originally the most powerful force was religion. And then it came to be governments, nation states, and now it's business. And you can see that reality echoed in the major buildings around the world, that the oldest big ornate buildings are religious buildings. Uh, the second oldest big ornate buildings are governmental buildings. And today, the big ornate buildings being built are commercial buildings. And as this most powerful force, business has an incredible influence, or some might say control, on our country, ranging from uh, elections through campaign contributions, uh, influence or control on legislation through lobbying, Business controls the media through ownership, with the exception of our friends here. Uh, and business uh, influences how uh, citizens are treated, both as employees uh, and as consumers. And all of this interest, all of this influence, is done in the narrow self-interest of business, uh, which is to make money. Uh, and it's not that business is bad or negative or evil. Business is sort of a neutral tool, but it does not look out for the common good. And that's the real big difference with business as this most powerful force and religion and government, because religion and government have always had as part of their purpose looking out for the general welfare. But that's never been the purpose of business. Uh, you know, business competes well in the marketplace, it provides jobs, it produces products and services, it creates innovation and whatever. It has a good role to play in our society, but that role does not include buying and selling elections. Uh, you know, somebody asked, uh, I. I'm not only involved in, uh, in the issue here in Vermont, uh, there's a groundswell of grassroots activism around this issue uh, around the country. Uh, you know, Akene is here from Washington, from Public Citizen. There are national groups, uh, a range of national advocacy groups ranging from Move to Amend, Free Speech for People, People for the American Way, Common Cause, uh, and they all have an interest in what's going on in Vermont. Uh, I was in New York last week. I, ben and I happened to meet with Dylan Radigan from MSNBC. He's a financial guy on TV who's totally into this issue. Uh, I was mentioning yesterday Russell Simmons, the hip-hop empresario, is totally into this issue. Deepak Chopra is into this issue. It cuts across all areas of life, uh, the idea that we need to reclaim our democracy so that our government represents people and not corporations. Thank you. Uh, I think we need to get to the place of publicly financed elections. <laughs> How would that work? Uh, I don't have the details on that. There, there are people who are working on it. Uh, you know, uh, it, it's easy to throw cold water on ideas that may not be that easy to get to, but we have to accept that what we've got now is terrible. <laughs> it's terrible. Uh, who here actually feels like their vote counts and that our government represents your interests? Uh, and you do, all right, well that's great, we got one. That's, that's probably not bad, one out of 50. Uh, you know, that's, that's what our government is now representing. Uh, I, I couldn't hear you. I said that's because I'm a pesky 
All right, good for you. Uh, uh, and so, you know, for me, the, the starting point is uh, we've got something that's not working and I'm, I'm willing to consider whatever we need to do to get to something that works.